Hey guys, welcome back to another Assassin's Creed uh, 2 video. Um, right, uh, we've got a mission up here. It's been a while since I last played this. starting the celebration and why not you've done us a great service nipote with very dead la toscana will grow quiet once more do you know what that means basta lavorare si passa tutto il giorno a bere e a buttare what it's true <laughs> <laughs> come it's you walk with me yes uncle <laughs> yes so we uh Oh, we managed to assassinate Vieri, who uh, has been who has been giving uh, Ezio troubles. The Pazzi answer to another Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order, which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too. Given the chance, then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. Okay. The letter my uncle gave me. Uh, read the letter. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Vieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But, I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. Okay. Alright, let's call me Uncle then. Uh, Alright, his, his study is upstairs. Well, it's actually downstairs, but I can't never like figure out where his study is. Where is it? Oh, right. So we were in here. I want you to just like come out here and go and see there. Now I see. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? 
Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I'll start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Okay, reach the Villa's viewpoint. Um... Okay, we now have to climb up the villa. I like the four codes pages. There's one over here. Ah, okay. So we basically we just uh, need to look for these boxes. They will be in here. Uh, so we've got two in here and then one out of the, uh, out of the area. Okay, uh, let's go to this one over here. And then we got one opposite. We we will go and grab that one. Um, I think it's so. I think it's there. So if we just go and jump this way. So I think it's wait. I can't remember if it's higher or, or lower than this one. I actually think it's lower. So if we go down this way towards the uh, entrance Oh what's that? Oh right, uh, a feather Oh, there's, yeah, it's, it's right below us. Here we go. And then, uh, and then we have one uh, outside. Uh... Okay, here we go. Uh, I need a horse. Oh, here it is. Somewhere. Oh, there we go. Uh, 
Um. Okay. Go check on. Okay, so we need to go and check on my uh my sister. We still have enough. We still have enough time in this video, so we uh, we will go and do it. Hey, what's this over here? No, get off it. Get off. Oh, it's uh, can get some more florins from uh, from this. Over here, oh yeah. Here we go. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Okay. Interesting. Um. Okay. Right, cool. Uh... Talk to his oh there he is. Hello man. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money, eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can spell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Uh, okay. It's not really my kind of thing, but we, we, could, we can try. <coughs> okay, so we currently have 9,274 florins. Uh, okay, and these are all of the buildings here. Um, all right, let's see what we got. Okay, the well is kind of expensive, man. Um, uh, the shop sells weapons, uh, It's so expensive as well. Um, 
Okay, let's go and do the tailor. Uh, we'll go again because this one isn't very expensive. Uh, yeah, we can do the brothel. Um, military barracks. Oh, we don't have enough money. Okay. Uh, anything else we can do, or... I right, can do the art, the art merchant. Or the bank. Okay, let's do the bank. And we can do the art merchant as well. Okay, there's nothing we can do now. my boy I think it's time I showed you something oh See. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Okay. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Uh, the female Egyptian assassin. Uh, okay, apparently she loved using a snake as a weapon. I never thought an assassin would use that, but sure. Uh, it looks like something is missing from the pedestal. What? Um, okay, another female assassin. She poisoned Alexander the Great. Oh, does it say like any uh, everything is like missing from? Uh, does it say it's missing from the something is missing from the pedestal and everything? I think I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Male Roman assassin. Okay, he's he stabbed uh Kali with a dagger. Okay. Let's go and check out these other ones. I'm guessing this is what we need to like put in here for us to uh for us to uh, get the armor. Um I've, uh, the male Chinese assassin. Okay. He used a spear to kill the first Chinese em emperor when she. It, uh, okay. 
the male Persian assassin uses hidden blade, of course. Oh, I was wondering when someone would kill uh, something with a hidden blade. Uh, this was the first recorded use of the hidden blade. Oh. I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing these assassins over here didn't have the hidden blade or something. The male Mongolian assassin he used the bow and arrow to shoot Khan's horse. Okay. Alright. Let's go and leave this place. I will keep an eye out for those items. Okay, so we got uh, we got over here. What does this? Oh, we can dye clothes. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, this one is bonus skin. Uh, the the bonus skin is so cool, man. Go green. Okay. Uh, knife belt upgrade, okay. Well, thank you. Till next time, sir. There we go. Uh, Etsy doesn't look too bad in black. Okay, so where do we need to go here? Uh, ah, uh, Florence, right, we need to go back there. Right then guys, uh, I am going to leave it here, hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure you leave a thumbs up, also make sure you are subscribed and you have turned on the post notifications, go and check out the two videos on the screen, uh, the left one is a previous Assassin's Creed 2 video, the other one will just be another video which you may want to go and watch and I'll see you in the next one, peace.